guys. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to like, comment, and just subscribe. I was going to say describe, but subscribe below. Um, so what I want to go over with you today is a book that just came out. I read this as an ARC. Um, it released on February the 5th of this year, and it's called The Girls at 17 Swan Street, and it's by Yara G. This book had me going crazy because it's so emotional and so draining, this story, that I just, one, couldn't put it down, and two, could not stop crying. So every time I picked it up. So there are a host of characters in this story, but it follows Anna, who has developed anorexia. Um, she is married to Matthias, who is a husband that has moved her from France all the way to America in order to follow his career. Now, Anna had a career of her own in France um, as a ballet dancer, but unfortunately she was hurt um, and was then, uh, with this injury, couldn't work. So she went along with Matthias where his job was sending him to America. And after she came to America and Matthias continued to work more, work later, um, she found herself becoming very lonely and wanting to have some type of companionship. And she, I believe that she got into her head a lot during this time frame. Um, she has these little snippets in here. The book follows a really cool narration style between um, clinical evaluations. You'll see her actual chart that she gets every weekend. Um, about where, how she's progressing with her anorexia because she's been sent to 17 Swan Street, which is basically a recovery house for people with eating disorders. So we see her weekly evaluations, and then we also see her flashing back to her past about different things that have happened that have led up to where she is now. Um, there is no real reason that you're going to find as a reader to say, okay, I can pinpoint how she became anorexic. And I think that's really smart on Yara Jahib's part because that's real. There is no real way or reason to say why someone has an eating disorder. So I thought that was very smart on the author's behalf on that. Um, also, the third line of narration is um, Anna's present day. So as she's living at 17 Swan Street, from her perspective of what's going on in the house. And through her perspective, you start learning about the other women in the house, you start seeing their different struggles with eating disorders and what that kind of looks like on different people. Um, so I thought that was really great. There's some really heartfelt moments within this book, especially between Anna and Matthias, who absolutely adores his wife and really um, is taking a lot of um, pain on himself because of her anorexia because he feels like one he should have noticed it sooner um, before she got to uh, being about 88 pounds um, which you know she had a lot of other issues no taste buds um, cold all the time not able to um, eat certain things um, so it's he saw these progressions and then he felt like he put it on himself that he didn't do anything sooner um, and that he feels now that he just can't lose her because she's the love of his life. So it's a very beautiful relationship between the two that you will cling to throughout this story. And you really want Anna to win. And you want this to kind of poof and be gone and Anna and Matthias go back to the way they were when they met. So you get really invested in these characters. And throughout 17 Swan Street, the author does a wonderful job of creating a scene. Um, and what I mean by that is you feel like you understand what's going on in the house as well as you understand Anna as an individual outside of her anorexia. Um, so I think the job well done, and you can't believe this, I know, but this is a debut novel. This is someone who is new and fresh on the scene. So if you're like me and you like new and fresh authors and to kind of have a new look on books that are coming out, I think you'll really enjoy this author and her take on something that can be typically taboo. Um, so out on February 5th, it's out now, it just came out, and I just want to implore all of you to go ahead and read it. Um, take a chance on this one. I think you'll really like it. 
So again, follow RagingBookReviews.com if you want to read my written review of this book. Um, also, if you want to follow these, um, please make sure to do so by subscribing below. I don't post all the time, so I will not be that person that's constantly in your timeline. But I hope that I provide you enough um, diversity in reading so that you can read different things and hear about different things than what's on BookTube right now. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.